This is Impact Star, the Carolina Caveman, Trevor Lee, and you're watching a music blog. Yeah? Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambient. I would like to welcome you to my interview with the Carolina Caveman, Trevor Lee. Hello. Hello, thank you for having thank me. Thank you so much yeah, for joining yeah. me. Of course. We are here at Impact Bound for Glory, where you just defended the X Division Championship and came out victorious. So of course, how of course. are you feeling? Well, you know, I'm a little tired, but uh, it's going to be all right because I'm still the X Division Champion. You had five other guys in there who really, really wanted that championship title. So now that you know you still retain it, is anyone here a little bit worried about coming after it again? Uh, I'm not necessarily worried about it because I think those are the top competitors that we have right now for the exhibition. But I think the crowd wanted it more than those guys actually wanted it. So uh, it was great to just That's take it all something. away from them. Take it all away from them. Well, you've obviously had your fair share of matches. When you still walk down that ramp, do you still get nervous once in a while? Do they still of course, hit? yeah. I still get nervous. Uh, especially like all these TV shows. Like these are the real big ones. But even on like independent shows where there may only be a few hundred people. The nerves are still there because, you know, anything can happen. And I don't want to look like a fool in front of anybody. <laughs> of so, course. Yeah. Especially as the champ. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, wrestling's been in your life since you can probably remember as your dad started a company with Matt Hardy. Yeah. So was it the reason you got, went into it because of that fact? Or did you kind of discover it on your own and then think, hey, this is what I want to pursue? Uh, I kind of got away from it a little bit during, like, uh, from, like, middle school up until, uh, like, my freshman year of high school. I kind of got away from it. And then uh, going into my freshman year of high school, I saw another show, and it was the first live show I had been to in a long time. And then it just hooked me right back in, okay. and I had to get back into it. I know that you've had your fair yeah. share of super bloody matches as well. Uh, uh, not, not too bad, not too I've bad. I've seen some pretty gruesome photographs. Just, just a couple, just a couple, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes it happens, uh, unfortunately. When you think <laughs> back to some of the worst bumps or cuts that you have gotten from being in that ring, what comes to mind? Uh, in 2012, uh, I broke my jaw, and it was wired shut for eight weeks. Uh, I couldn't eat for eight weeks. I couldn't yawn. I couldn't sneeze. That just sounds like, horrible. I had to talk with my teeth, like, gritted closed. I had to, like, drink through, like, little straws. I lost 30 pounds in wow. eight weeks. It was absolutely horrible. And it must have been horrible to try to get back from as well. Uh, Did that take a bit of time? A little bit. Luckily... Uh, you can't like work out your jaw you know what I mean so uh, it, it had me fired up just to kind of as soon as I could get back to doing any kind of physical activity it was right back into it as, like harder than it was before but you know I mean I can still feel it to this day but it'll be alright I guess <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're okay you yeah, can, you yeah, can yeah. move it you can talk yeah, I can still kind of talk <laughs> just, yeah. just a bit yeah <laughs> Yeah. We have these really cool new t-shirts up on Pro Wrestling Tees, and it's Trevor Lee All Natural. So when yeah, yeah. did someone first call you that? How did that come to be? Uh, just because the if you think of professional wrestling, you think of spray tans and steroids and all the goodness. And I'm just a real shitty, plain, white guy with <laughs> really bad body hair, uh, no steroids. So that's where the all natural thing came from. Okay, yeah. no tan. No tan, just just a dude. <laughs> just a dude. I noticed you posted some photographs of video games. So are you a pretty big yeah. gamer? Is that one of your favorite things to do? It's awful. It takes up so much time of my life. When I'm not on the road wrestling, I'm spending too many hours playing video games. It's absolutely awful. But I absolutely love it. It's, What's your go-to yeah. console? PlayStation 4 all the okay. way. Yeah, always been a PlayStation guy. Uh, come on, nobody. Xbox, they're just a bunch of losers. Come on. <laughs> they joined the party way too late. I uh, had PlayStation when I was a child, so I just stuck with it all the way through. Okay, one of my friends actually reminded me of GTA. You know, you kind of just forget about games. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, man, so I plugged it's the in best. my old PS2 and was like, let's do this yeah, a few yeah. days back. You can't beat that PS2. That was, that was the best console. <laughs> I think they said they made that console in production for like 13 years or something like that. Really? And it was like the longest video game console that stayed in production. That's crazy. Yeah, it was pretty wild. And which games have you been digging when you have some downtime? Uh, I like sports games. Um, then there's this other game called Ark Survival Evolved. It's the worst. It's the game that has me hooked so hard into video games. I'm actually on a break from it right now. It's, so you really mean it's the best. It broke my heart. So 
I'm on another break from it. So I, I just, I hate it so much. Did it break your heart because you're playing it so much and it was taking time away or could you not beat a certain no. level or why was it? So like the deal is, it's like, there's no like levels. Okay. It's like a survival thing. So you play with a bunch of other people. But what sucks about it is when you get offline and you're not playing, your stuff is still there. Oh, okay. So like, there's a lot of kids that play the game and kids are just destined to just troll you in the, and you so that, be on it all the time. Yeah, if you're not on, someone's breaking into your stuff Damn, and okay. just taking it. And then you get on and you have nothing and you just want to <laughs> scream. Everything you built up is now gone. It's the worst. I absolutely <laughs> hate it. I absolutely hate it. How many days do you think you've put into that game time-wise? Too many? It's awful. I get an email, I think, once a week uh, from PlayStation that says, like, total gameplay hours. Oh, okay. And that just reminds you. Yeah, and, like, I think in the past two years I've done, like, 2,400 hours of oh, gameplay. Wow. It's awful. <laughs> it's so awful. As but, long as you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's cool. But the cool thing about it now is, too, that uh, actually I've done some uh, motion capture work for okay. uh, the WWE video game. Very cool. So it's cool getting the, like, work with video games and wrestling all in the same. Like, you like music and wrestling. So you get to do music and wrestling. So now I get to do video games and wrestling. That's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Right I love it. Alley. Yeah, it's great. If there were to be a video game that was kind of made around you, what would that ideal video game be? Grand Theft Auto, yeah. Really? 100%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the reg, I uh, murder and rob people. Uh, I've only stolen about six cars since totally I've been here it. in Canada. Uh, but no, yeah, definitely Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I do want to talk music with you. Okay. With all of the traveling you do, do you have any time to catch concerts ever? Is that something you dig? Uh, I haven't actually done a lot of concerts in my life before. Uh, I, it's something that I would dig and something that I would like to do. Uh, I went to one, uh, it was called Summer Jam in uh, North Carolina, and it was just like a big hip-hop festival, and it was awesome. I absolutely love that. Uh, I like hip-hop a lot, uh, which is weird because I'm from like the country. But, yeah, like, if I could go to, a, like, a Gucci concert or something like that, I would just, <laughs> really, as, eh? I would be in so much fun. Okay, and how would you say you are as far as rapping goes? Are you all right? Can you go along? Oh, no way. No, no? way. Uh, it loses you? I can remember the songs that they sing, but no way can I freestyle or anything like that <laughs> at all. Okay. It's awful. I will not ask you You put some you trap to. music on, though? Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. Next time I see oh, you, yeah. I might take you up on that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Full trap. <laughs> Well, let's wrap things up. Is there anything you would like to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing? Just any parting words? Uh, just keep supporting us. Uh, keep supporting Ambi. Keep supporting uh, wrestling. Whatever it is you like, just support it. Uh, somebody has to. You know? <laughs> if, well if, put. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you. Of course, you. and remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.